This video is a brief introduction to Australia's Early Years Learning Framework, or EYLF. The aim of the framework is to extend and enrich children's learning from birth to five years and through the transition to school. It forms the foundation for ensuring that children in all early childhood education and care settings experience quality teaching and learning. It has a specific emphasis on play-based learning and recognises the importance of communication and language and social and emotional development. The framework views children's lives through three lenses, belonging, being and becoming. Belonging, knowing where and with whom you belong, is a vital component of a child's development of self-identity. Being recognises the importance of the here and now in children's lives. Becoming reflects the process of rapid change in children's lives while learning to participate fully and actively in society. The framework puts children's learning at the core and provides broad direction for early childhood educators to facilitate children's learning. The diversity in family life means that children will experience belonging, being and becoming in many different ways. Viewing children as active participants and decision makers requires educators to respect and work with each child's unique qualities and abilities. Educators are encouraged to teach in a holistic manner by applying their own knowledge, experience and learning to enrich children's learning. An educator's individual professional pedagogy is central to their role in facilitating learning. Educators also draw on their creativity, intuition and imagination to help them improvise and adjust their practices to suit the time, place and context of learning. There are five principles that reflect current theory and research around children's learning and early childhood teaching. These are respectful relationships to support the development of a strong sense of well-being, working in partnership with the children's families, recognising that families are children's first and most influential teachers, a belief in all children's capacities to succeed regardless of their circumstances and abilities, respect for diversity of practices as well as the values and beliefs of children's families and ongoing learning and reflective practice for educators to build their professional knowledge and develop learning communities such as Wonder Academy. Educators can draw on a rich variety of teaching practices to enact these five principles and promote children's learning. These include holistic approaches that recognize mind, body and spirit, being responsive to children's strengths, abilities and interests, planning and implementing learning through play, deliberate, purposeful and thoughtful teaching that grows the skills of the child or children, creating a variety of learning environments, indoor and outdoor, respecting different cultures, recognising the learning transitions between different settings and assessing and evaluating children's learning. These practices support the learning outcomes which the entire Early Years Learning Framework sets out to achieve. There are five key learning outcomes that are designed to capture the complex learning and development of all children from birth to five years old. These are Outcome 1, that children have a strong sense of identity. Outcome 2, they are connected with and contribute to their world. Outcome 3, they have a strong sense of well-being. Outcome 4, they are confident and involved learners. And outcome 5, they are effective communicators. The points described within each outcome can apply to all ages. The challenge for educators is to ensure that children engage in experiences across all the learning outcomes in ways that optimise their learning. The vision for the Early Years Learning Framework is that all children have the best start in life to create a better future for themselves and for the nation. This framework encourages educators to explore and understand how children learn, how to create relevant learning experiences and the principles and practices to help them achieve the five learning outcomes.